No, exactly. So I think the, the way we look at the China stimulus is that um, Europe industrial footprint is, uh, is uh, heavily tilted toward China. So if you look at um, uh, European companies, they tend to have a high revenue exposure to China. So the, the impact of the China stimulus, I think we have to look at it from short-term perspective, but also long-term perspective. I think short-term, it, it has definitely been positive. Um, we've seen a lot of fund flows into regional flows, uh, regional funds. So investors have actually been buying a lot of uh, China ETFs and European ETFs. But actually what we haven't seen yet is uh, them focusing on sectors specifically. And I think that's part of the long-term perspective. Yeah, I mean, you are a derivatives um, expert as well. And uh, without using the pun, this is a derivative of the China trade. So why yeah. has that derivative of the China trade not worked out for investors so far? I think the idea is um, you look at the, the, the stimulus, it hasn't worked <laughs> yet because of the China weakness so far. And I think if you look at the, 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 the focus of the stimulus that is more on, on consumers, I think historically the playbook has been that you tend to see uh, the Chinese growth coming from the infrastructure kind of things. But this time it might be different. So what we're focusing on is um, the stimulus towards more consumers. And I think consumer goods and luxury this time mm -hmm. could have a better time than perhaps your basic resources. Just looking at the resources trade, that's stunning because that's where the trade is sticking around. Yeah. So you had the, the giant leap off what was the lowest trading point so yeah. far for the year and we're staying at these levels. How much of that is also a narrative around central banks, not just around China, the fact that we're getting an easing cycle which should support some sort of demand picture? Yeah, so I think like the basic resource is definitely an interesting one. I think if I look at it from the European side, it had the, that weakness has been related to China quite a bit. Um, the reason I was trying to say it's, it's not perhaps the best kind of sector to focus on on this China stimulus is because the stimulus is supposed to be a bit more focused on consumers. So you'd have, uh, you'd have uh, the, the infrastructure kind of things uh, is not going to be that much simulated. So the idea is uh, perhaps focus on, on sectors like consumer goods like luxury that are rather than basic resources. Um, it is, as you said, perhaps from a central bank easing kind of uh, the, the side of things. It could benefit a bit, but on a relative basis, perhaps less than luxury and, and other parts of the market.